Josh Frydenberg had his hands full with climate protesters on election day. Now, almost six months later, May 18th is dogging the treasurer and member for Kuyong for a different reason. The federal court is scrutinising Chinese language signs used by the Liberal Party in a number of seats, including Kuyong and the nearby seat of Chisholm, which was won by Gladys Liu, the first Chinese Australian to be elected a federal MP. The sign said, correct voting method. On the green paper ballot, put a one next to the Liberal Party candidate. They were printed in the white and purple style of the Australian Electoral Commission. The signs were placed next to official AEC material, did not include the Liberal Party logo and did not name the candidates. Simon Frost was the acting director of the Victorian Liberal Party during the election and authorised campaign material. He told the court the core flutes on display were not what he approved and said while he became aware of complaints about the signs early on election day, he dismissed them as political point scoring. You intended to convey that it was an AEC core flute, didn't you? Lawyer Lisa Di Ferrari said. It was similar to the AEC colours, yes. That is a yes then. Yes. Independent candidate for Kuyong Oliver Yates brought the case against Mr Frydenberg to the federal court, claiming the signs misled voters. We need a political system here which is true, where people can make appropriate election decisions and make their votes based upon fair and true information. In court documents, Mr Frydenberg and Ms Liu deny any illegal practices and they say there is no evidence that the signs had an impact on the election result. After preferences were distributed, Ms Liu won the seat of Chisholm by more than 1,000 votes and Mr Frydenberg won his seat by more than 7,500 votes. The case continues tomorrow. Karen Percy, ABC News, Melbourne.